want to thank my friends on the other side of the aisle for participating in the debate. I, look, I understand the passions here are high, and I actually respect that a great deal, even when I disagree with the policy conclusions that may have led some of my colleagues to. I do ask you to stop and think. There is a sort of contradiction in your argument, and yet give special preferences. Both those things can't be true. It suggests to me the real argument is fundamentally different than those two points. The reality is it gives no one special preferences. We tried to listen to that point. I wish other countries were beating down my door to want to go do work on Indian reservations, to want to partner with it. They aren't. You know, I know of one country that has really cared enough to do this. Now, there's a range of disputes in other areas. Those are legitimate disputes. Those are matters that ought to be subject to serious discussion and debate on the floor. They have nothing to do with this bill have nothing to do with this bill. They're about ancient and current acrimonies and differences that ought to be settled in other forums on other issues, but not on this bill. And certainly not at the expense of the least advantaged, frankly, the most disadvantaged part of our own population. I wish I could get more American companies that wanted to go on reservations and sit down and work with people about creating jobs. That's all this bill is about. And to those of you that have other concerns, I recognize the legitimacy of those concerns. But I just ask you, focus on the nature of the legislation. The new world is supposed to be able to put some of the old world's controversies behind us, and certainly on a topic like this. So for those of you, again, that have a different opinion, I respect it. But I also point out Turkey is an ally of the United States. It has been for decades and decades. It's an important regional partner for the United States. This strengthens that relationship as well. And the interest and the commitment in this area is genuine. I, I yield with the gentleman one additional minute. The gentleman has one additional minute. The interest in this area is genuine and real. Shouldn't that be something we should take and build on and try and add to and encourage? There needs to be a competition here. Let's have a competition to go help Indian country. Other countries can step up. Foreign companies can step up. Let's get a blueprint on how to do it. It is more complex than we would like to admit or acknowledge. That's one of the reasons why there's not American investments in these places. Now, I can take you to some of the Indian reservations in North and South Dakota where the unemployment rate's 80 percent and the state unemployment rate is under 5. Now, should that tell you how serious the problem is? So if I get anybody interested in helping, and doing it legitimately, and we now have a level playing field for everybody. There are no preferences in this bill. And, and you know, encourage other people to join the competition. Have them come in, and maybe they've got a better idea and a better way. But in the meantime, we should pass this bill. We should get about the business of putting Americans to work, the first Americans, and certainly Americans on Indian reservations that have every obstacle in the world against them. This bill will give them one more tool in the toolbox. It's not a panacea but it's a tool they ought to have. Without a yield back, the balance of my time.